Hello. Good day. Good morning. Buenos dias. And bonjour. Now I'm using those languages because I'm going to be doing some videos with some students real soon. These are some girls that are staying with Katrina over the summer. She's hosting loads of different language students, which is, I think, a wonderful thing for her to do. Fill them rooms, girl. Now, it feels like it's been forever since I've been with you people. Now, the reason I say that is because I've been on my holidays. Yes, I've been to America. And I'm back. Now, while I was on America, I will admit the diet kind of went up a little bit like this, up and down, because I'm sorry. Sometimes you got to eat a Cheeto. <laughs> and most days, you got to, you just got to eat some pork skins. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes. They make the best ones in America. And every time I could get a bag, I would, but I kept telling myself, it's pork, it's the skin, it's keto friendly. <laughs> That's what I told myself anyway. So instead of the potato chips, I was hitting them. I know I'm going off peace, but let me get back to it. Yeah, peace, you know, that's skin. It is. I know, <laughs> I know some things. So I am back on my diet. However, what I'm about to cook for you right now ain't got nothing to do with a diet. But that's because tomorrow is Katrina's birthday. Yes, it's my birthday. So instead of making her a cake, I'm going to make her a Bailey's chocolate tart. Now, I'm so excited. This last week we did a wedding. Yes, we were the caterers to a fabulous wedding. And listen, people, I'm going to tell you something right now. Don't be afraid to do something different. Mm -hmm. Because I'm telling y'all right now, Mama Cherry last week was 100% out of her comfort zone. Because this bride came to me. She had been, um, well, basically they'd had a bereavement in the family. And the bride to be, her mother-in-law to be, had just lost her husband. And he and she was the one who was going to be doing all the catering. So obviously there was no way when the family was going through turmoil that she could do this. The difference was though, this bride was particular in what she wanted. I'm telling you, when she sent me this man, she had, she had actually gotten in touch with quite a few. Let me turn that water down. She had gotten in touch with quite a few other caterers and they all refused. How dare them? They refused to help this bride because you know what it's like. They said, no, this is the style of cooking I do. Take it or leave it. She came to me. Now, I'm telling you right now, that menu had nothing to do with soul food, but it had a lot to do with soul because I believe the soul is in anything you do. So what I did is I pulled together my army because I got one. My army of people. Carol. Remember Carol? From that, um, I'm still ashamed the way I destroyed her cheesecake. <laughs> but I know Carol can throw down. Mm -hmm. So I gave Carol all the bits and pieces that I 100% wasn't sure how to do. They were all these kind of like chicken meat loaves with dates and apricots and nuts and all this kind of stuff. So I let her do that. And then I got on to a baker, a girl friend of mine at church. I asked her, you know, she got two little kitties. So I said, would you like to earn some extra money? She said, yeah. So I got her to do the cupcakes because she wanted. Amazing. And they were amazing because she wanted lemon drizzle, orange drizzle, carrot cake, and banana. And they were delicious. delicious. And then I got my friend Andrea. Y'all remember Andrea from Barbados? Over living over here in the UK via Germany. International. <laughs> my whole family is international. She did the salads because it was things like a fennel salad and a pine nut this and a dum nut that and a this and then a that. And then we had crab tarts, seafood platter. Um, and then the mother-in-law, she did make the most fabulous spice beef. Oh, that beef, beef was amazing. Oh, it was delicious. Recipe. Gotta get the recipe. It was amazing. But I did this Bailey's chocolate tart for their dessert and it was fantastic. A 
ain't never made one before in my life. But I'm making one for y'all because it was so easy. So, since this is first, let me, y'all notice something? Yes, hang on a minute. I need to zoom out so we can get you all in. You skinny mini. I'm getting there. Turn around. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting there. You look great, Mom, seriously. But I'm going to throw I'm down some so chocolate proud of right now. And as I'm going to throw down some chocolate, but before I do that, y'all, see this? Mama say what? <coughs> Don't bend it, spin it. Now I'm pointing this out because we are going to be creating these one-off t-shirts. Yes, we are. And they're going to be available for you to buy. Limited edition. So you need to get to it. But I'm going to cover up with this chocolate since I'm making chocolate. Oh, I like that. Where did oh, you get that from? Paris. When did you go to Paris? Oh, two years ago. You've had that for two years? Yes. I've never seen it. It looks great. So, there's my Paris chocolate. Yeah, I might nick that. Ooh. First thing you want to do, you want to get you some biscuits. When I say biscuits, I mean cookies. I don't mean no biscuits and gravy. Okay, what kind of cookies are they? And these are just plain digestive, but I've added some chocolate bourbon biscuits to it. And all you want to do is mash them up. When you mash them up, pour some into a bowl. So this is a combination. Oh, did you see that big chunky one? See, there's a biscuit there. I'll put that one back in. So get your biscuits. And then you want to melt some butter. But I'm going to be melting some. Oh my goodness. All right, now guys, at the end of this video, we are going to be showing you the commercial that was put together by Organic Valley for us, talking about ghee. It's a, you can see it on Facebook, on Instagram, but it ain't on. It's not on YouTube. So we're just gonna show you what it looks like, okay? But this is ghee, really nice, clarified butter. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that, and I'm going to sit this in the microwave just so that it melts down. So let's just melt that down. And then we're going to add that directly to our mixture. I mean, it's actually soft enough. I could have just kind of whooshed it all up in there together. But I didn't. Let's see how we're going. Oh, yeah. Melts very quickly. Let's give it another second. Two seconds. Done. So, look at that. Lovely. Hold well on. See our butter? That's our key. Oh, my goodness. So we're just going to pour that in because all you want to do is you want to just get it to this consistency just so it's wet. I'm going to add a little bit more dry to this. Just a bit. Take that biscuit out. I think somebody needs to just eat that thing. Then you're going to take this mixture. We're going to make this pie in this dish. Pour it in. And then you just literally just want to pat it down. And that is step one complete. When you get it to this stage, you want to take it and just sit it into the refrigerator. It's nice if you could chill it for about an hour, but you don't have to. Okay, so we're going to put this into the fridge just so that it can cool down. Y'all know me. It's Katrina that turned off my air conditioning. Do you want me to turn it back on again? Because she said it was getting too much noise. Look at me. Do you want me to turn it back on again? I'm all aglow. Do you want me to turn it back on again, Mom? Yes, I do. Okay. Because they do not need to see me glowing <laughs> all over the place. Okay, so while you put that in the fridge, I'll put it in the fridge. So, one sec. Okay, so we have put our cookie base into the fridge just to chill it down a little bit. Now, what I need you guys, the next thing you need to do is to get you some caramel. Now, I'm using the Nestle's Carnation, which is already turned into... What are you doing? Don't you lick that. Don't you dare. You could cut yourself. Health and safety. You know better, I won't better, lick girl. it. I won't lick it. I promise. I'll give you a... What's a facey? A spatula afterwards. But don't any of y'all pick up these things and go licking it because you could cut your tongue. I'm not going. I'm not licking it, Mum. But you were going to. I was going to. And you're not now. <laughs> I'm not now. So, what you want to do? 
get you some caramel. Now, remember I did tell you before, if you can, if you can just get the condensed milk, you can boil it in the tin for about three hours and it will come out just like this. Or you could pay that extra 50p, 50 cents and get it done, like I did. So all I want to do is to a pan. Okay. I've already got this pan. It's like a double boiler, okay? Okay, so is that like a, what's it called? A bain marie or a... Bain marie or a double boiler in America. All right. So you just want to put good googa mooga. <laughs> I mama need another spatula. There we go. You just want to put your caramel in to a pan, to a pot. I want to make a nice deep pie for us. So I'm going to do two tins. Yay! Okay, so we're just putting this in because all you're doing is melting it down. To this, you're going to add some cooking chocolate. Now, the last one I did, I did it with the dark chocolate, and I mean that bad boy was rich, rich, was rich. Delicious. This one, I'm going to do a combination of my dark plain chocolate with some milk chocolate. Oh, okay, that'd be nice. Okay. So I'm going to do half and half. So just going to take two of those. Okay. Just drop that in. And I'm going to add two. So two dark, two milk. Two, yeah. So if someone was just doing dark, they'd put all you four. You would just put all. You okay. would put the whole thing in. And could you do it with just milk if you wanted to? You could do it with just milk, but I'm going to try. Actually, I need to make it um, each tin usually calls for 200, which would call for a whole one. And I'm doing two, so I'm, but I don't want it to be too rich. And I'm going to say so. So I'm putting three bits, okay? Okay. So we're just going to leave that basically to melt. That's going to take probably about 20 minutes for the whole thing. Once it has melted down, we add the bayless. <laughs> now, this is something I don't normally drink because I find it very sweet. However, cooking with it, Diva! And you will love it. So we're going to add some of this once it's melted down. Okay. So, okay. so to me, let's go back. Recap. So all it is is caramel, mm -hmm. chocolate, Bailey's. Mix it all together. Put it in the pot. Put in the pan. In the the pie pan dish. Put it in the fridge. Chill it down overnight, and it's done. Wow. There's nothing else to That's it. So easy. I'm telling you. Even nothing. I could do that. Yes, you could do that. It is so easy. Okay, and this is starting to melt. When you are melting it down, do you need to pay attention to it or do nope. you just leave it? The only thing you need to pay attention to is that your, your water doesn't run out. Okay. You don't want your water to boil out. Okay. But I got quite a bit in there. Right. That's it. Now that's so it. So you don't need to stir it or anything? And you, you stir it occasionally. Okay. Just to kind of break it down, but no, you okay. don't do anything. Cool. That's it. Come Excellent. back to it. Lovely. If you can look, look at that. It's going really nice, really melted few lumps but that'll cut. At this stage we're going to add our Baileys. So chugga lugga lugga. How much Baileys? Della lugga lugga lugga. <laughs> Is that how you measure it? That's what I do. Can we do that again so people can like know what to do? Is it chugga lugga lugga? Chugga lugga lugga dugga lugga chugga. Perfect. Alright. Scientific it's, it's, measurement. It's like a half a cup. <laughs> It called for two teaspoons, but that wasn't enough. No way. <laughs> so two we, teaspoons? Yeah. I said, I don't know. That, shoot, that ain't happening. So <laughs> that we just mix that right on up in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mmm, that's it. You should better smell it. it. Smells incredible. Yes. Oh, yes. I've got a question. Go on. If people don't like Baileys, would another liqueur work? Like maybe a whiskey or a... Put whatever you like on up in there. This is Bailey's because they called for Bailey's. Mm -hmm. But you could put whatever you like. Guess, yeah, lots of different alcohols going with chocolate. All sorts, yes. Ooh, vodka. Oh yeah. I wouldn't recommend gin though, with the juniper. Now, yeah. let's see here. Mmm! Mmm, yes! <laughs> oh yes! That's good. Now, Y'all saw me at the beginning of this video telling Katrina to stop with the fingers. Mom! Uh-uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> the minute she turned that camera off, 
what she do? She go putting her finger up in that can like I told her not to. Before she was gonna put her tongue up on it. <laughs> At least she didn't put it up. And she's shaming me in public. And she caught herself. I did. Yes, she did. I did. Listen to the mama. Mother always knows best. God, mercy. Okay, so this is ready. Wow, that looks amazing. Okay. Okay, so that's the consistency. Alrighty, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go back to the fridge, pull out the other one, the base, and we're going to pour it on, and then we're going to put it back in the fridge. Okay, so you don't have to let that cool. Well, that, mm -mm, no, that was well, really stupid. As soon as I said it, I realized how stupid it was. No, because guess that what happened? Hard. I know, I know. Guess as what happened? As happens? soon as the words came out of my mouth, I realized it was a ridiculous question. So she needs to do this with them words. <laughs> All right, I'll go get the base. Go get the base. No worries. So, welcome back, people, my lovely peeps. So, as you can see, this has, see, ain't moving because it's chilled. So, what we want to do at this stage is we want to take it and I start in the center because oh, then on, look on. what happens. I'm not to look what shot. happens. It ripples its way out. Oh, that's lovely. Now you could make little tiny ones. You can make little individual tarts if you like. And then do some as little, you know, lunch things, you know? Be creative, people. Okay, now I need my spatula, which is just there. Can you reach it? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got to swap hands. Okay. Okay. Because I ain't wasting it. You know me. I know you are. I ain't gonna bend it. I'm gonna spin it. I'm gonna be doing a disco mix of that soon, y'all. <laughs> Club mix. <laughs> eat, eat. <laughs> eat, eat. <laughs> I'm saying spin it. No, she says spin it. Don't you spin it? No, she says spin it. You're mental. Here we go. Let's put this in. Y'all would buy my 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 mix, wouldn't you? God, the sad thing is, I probably would. Of course they would. <laughs> okay, so let's just get this. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Now, I am mm, going to... Can I taste it? Yes, you may. There's a whole bunch on there. Thanks, Mom. Oh, wow. That's really lovely. And because it's her birthday, we're going to add some white chocolate chips on yum, the top. Yum, yum. I feel like I could hit again. Huh? I feel like a kid again. I'm licking the spoon. <laughs> and there we go. Because y'all know me. I like to mix it up. I, mean, I like to integrate my food. <laughs> but you know I do. <laughs> I've gone with the dark shock, <laughs> the light shock, <laughs> and the white shock. Oh, yes. It's a chocolate. Delight! <laughs> Boy <laughs> So, that needs to mm. now go into the refrigerator. Right. It would be set in about two to three hours, but if you can wait 24 hours, it would be best, okay? So we are going to put this into the fridge, and then we are going to cut it tomorrow on her birthday. Yay. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you'll get to see it. So this is going to be the birthday upload. Mm -hmm. Girl, will you get that thing out of your mouth? <laughs> it's good. <sighs> you would think she ain't never licked a spatula before. In a long time. Hmm. <laughs> All righty. So, happy birthday, Katrina. Thanks, Mommy. And let me put that in the fridge right now. Bye. So, here it is the chocolate and Bailey's tort that mum made for my birthday. So now I'm gonna try attempt to cut into it and taste it. Oh crikey, this is difficult. If you can hear crying in the background, it's because I've got two very tired children. We've had a very, very busy, very busy day for my birthday. 
Oh my goodness, this is impossible. <gasps> Look at that. Right, I'm gonna get a plate and I'm gonna taste it. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. It's come out quite messily, because it's quite chocolatey and rich. Alright. Good? Really good. One out of ten, how is it? Like ten out of ten. It's super gooey. Look. It's really gooey and really chocolatey. Proper good. Okay. Yeah. Very good birthday cake. Very, very happy. Thank you. Happy birthday to me.